Oh, I guess we're working. Okay. It's time to do Libra. My Libras. My Libras. My Libras. So, we're going to pull the lessons. <clears throat> it's going to be the first half of March. <gasps> The first, ow, son of a bitch. Sorry, excuse my language. First half of Machipu. Where's my other deck? Here it is. When you wish upon a star. Ooh, ooh, watch me, watch me. Maybe you guys have a wish coming true. When you wish upon a star. All right. Libra, March 2020, first half of March 2020. Libra. Perseverance. So if you want it, go for it. When you wish upon a star. Failure. So somebody made a mistake. So we got grief. So clearly you made a mistake or somebody did. This is odd because it just pulled me to cancer because you guys were coming in as Libra energy, right? Um, and this is a total switch. So, I mean, cancer kind of got a message like that, you know, a discipline staying determined, but there was nowhere in that we didn't, I don't think grief came in. I don't know. It just pulled me to cancer. Then I was like, no. So if someone made a mistake and missed an opportunity. Hold on, I gotta check this email. It's an incident at um, the high school. That one wasn't actually talking about, that was talking about the coronavirus, but the first incident, somebody was taken to the hospital. Hmm. I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. So, 2020, first half of March, please, Libra. Playfulness. So, you want to recapture something. Passion, playfulness, whatever it may be. Keep an open mind. Are you recording? Yeah. Flirt. <clears throat> when you wish upon a star. The wedding card keeps wanting to pop out, but it's not. And I also saw a lot of control issues, so. Which would be so random with all these three. So let's see. Somebody's at a distance. At a distance. So you feel like you lost something. Obviously, I have Libra energy that made a mistake. But it looks like you want it back, whatever it is that was lost.
goodness, craziness with these cards. Libra, first half. Libra. You want to flirt, someone wants to flirt. It's like you want to flirt. You're trying to keep an open mind. There's definitely a distance, okay? You got the Princess of Cups, Ace of Swords. So somebody you have feelings for, or this is you, however this resonates with you. Wanting to have a conversation, wanting a new start, wanting love. This could be something going on with work. New opportunity at work, a new direction. You might have to travel a little further than you expected. Or it might be from an offer from another country, another state. Princess of Pens usually talks about work and she's sitting right next to... The six of pence. This is the first energy that, that's coming out that's been real prominent when it comes to work. So that's something will work. Tell me about the Princess of Cups. I almost said Virgo. Some of you are dealing with the Virgo. Tell me about um, Princess of Cups for Libra. So you got feelings for someone, or you're hoping someone's got feelings for you. You want to play. You're trying to keep an open mind. You're definitely open to love. You got the King of Swords, so Aquarius type energy. You're thinking of them, or vice versa. Wanting to have a conversation. Wanting a new cycle. Three of Wands pops. What about the Ace of Cups? King of Wands, somebody who takes action. Six of Pence, real quick. Got two kings here. Got two princesses and two kings. If there's a new work opportunity, it looks great. You go from the 6 to the 10 to an offer. It would be something new. It would be at a distance. You would have to relocate. But it looks solid. That's not, that's not money issues. That's like sad that you have to move. But guys, it looks so positive. Keep in mind, 
somebody wants to apparently obviously do this with you. So maybe you're just like, oh, if I relocate, we get together, we do all this. There's something like that. Or if it's, it doesn't have to do with a lover, it's maybe you, you know, I just feel like somebody feels like they made a mistake. And in order to move forward, they really just, they understand that they lost something. And, but with playfulness, this is wanting to recapture it, wanting to keep an open mind, wanting to flirt, wanting to travel, wanting to do that. Having feelings for a feminine or vice versa. There's a connection between the masculine and feminine here. It looks like the feminine's having a new start. The masculine continues to, to remain a king. The feminine's coming in as pages because it's a new start. It's, it's something new. This is definitely work. Some of you, it's relocation. Others of you, if it's not regarding work, it's, it's a family dynamic, but moving. Tell me about the wheel. Because this looks positive. Now you got the wheel twice. So it's definitely time for a new cycle. And the Princess of Pents, all the other energy didn't look upset about moving forward, right? And the, then the wheel, it's like, whoa, five of cups. So it... It's almost like my Libra energy is moving and other people are really upset about it. If I can give you any advice coming from spirit, I would make the move. There could be a new chance at love. This is like a spiritual gift. Like this, this, it's like you're following your blueprint here. It's like a new opportunity with the wheel. Love too. Tell me about this five of pence. The high priestess. So yeah, I mean, it's, but again, it's like, it's like destiny, following your destiny, being intuitive, feminine energy. But she's been coming in as secretive, so hold on. Is it like a secret move? Like you're not telling everybody, anybody because you know it will cause this. So some of you might actually just pick up and move. You did have the three of wands too. Tell me about the five of cups. Page of Swords. So this energy is watching you. Maybe she's watching you move forward. What's the outcome of the t Five of Pence if you move? What's the outcome of the Five of Pence if you move? Yeah, something new and exciting. It's the Page of Wands. What's the outcome of the Five of Cups? So it's... Either someone knows you're moving, but you're not telling them. Yeah, see, three of wands. That's another location. That's another at a distance with that one. So there's a definite move here for some of you. New job, new direction.
So what about this King of Swords? So it's either my King of Swords or my Queen or my Page of Cups that opens something up. Oh, a coin. So it's like this masculine energy has been holding on to this feminine energy or vice versa. Or the money because they're trying to figure out where to invest, what to invest in. Somebody is like worried about the coins over here. The money. This is kind of, I mean, I can mesh it all together, but it's kind of strange. Each row has a different story, even with me clarifying. Because somebody feels like, well, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. But somebody feels like a failure, like they lost an opportunity, Libra energy or vice versa, right? And it, it's like, they lost it, it's gone. But the, someone wants it back. They want to come in. They want to have a conversation. They have feelings. They want a new opportunity. But it looks like someone's moving. And it looks like a really, really good move. It, it, it's something with your own Akashic Records to your own blueprint. You got the wheel here. Page of Wands. Something exciting. Three of Wands. Your ships are here. You know, but other people are not going to like it. They're not going to want you to move, to move forward. I don't see anyone blocking you or, or necessarily having negative energy around you. But people are not going to be happy about this. Because this offer, whether it's job, money, however it works for you, is ten of pence. It's, it's something solid. But it's, it's leaving something behind, whether it's work, a lover, friends, family, who, whoever it is for you, you know? This person that wants to invest time into the scenario again seems to be masculine, but it is something with the money. So they obviously have it. It's just how to invest it. There is some action, so it's like they're coming in as fire to, to act on this. Okay, so it looks positive. Yeah, possibilities, new directions, two of wands. Make a decision. Move forward. It looks like it's definitely being guided. Could even be something spiritual. You are in the midst of healing, whatever that's forgotten for whomever needed that. Or it could be healing spiritual work. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> you got flowering. <clears throat> So pick and choose his direction. Best advice. Let's see what this is. What's all those fives? What's the five of cups? Five of pence? It's, it's other people's sorrow. It's not yours. I mean, you could over here, right, with all this, but slowing down. Feeling alone. I don't see fast energy like that. Let's see what that's for guarding. Tell me about slowing down. That five of pens represents feeling alone. So I don't know if somebody misses the, just gonna miss the shit out of you, but like, yeah, see five of pens reverse and then six of cups. So it's like, this is gonna be shocking for someone. It's like, it's like 
sixth, we have an energy of someone who moved forward. That's not, we've got one energy that's not feeling alone. And then you have another one that is. I, you know, could this be you guys? I mean, look at this. This looks fucking sensational, actually. New location, new love, being happy, you know, King of Pence. The King of Pence was the one over here looking at their money. So this has a lot of possibilities. It looks like somebody wants to, it looks like this, this energy wants to, to come in and, and heal the situation. Someone's, you know, but it's like they're going at their own pace over here. Or it's like they feel like they can't catch up. Like someone feels like they can't catch up. I don't know what that's forgetting. Looks like it's coming in regardless. So tell me about Source. So Source is with the Eight of Wands too. Source is bringing this together. Okay. So it looks positive. This is not together right now. Secretly, someone's making a move, though. I don't feel like that's my Libra energy. I feel like it's someone you're dealing with. It's like linked to the King of Swords. We had another reading where energy was linked from that corner to that corner. I don't know if it was family conditioning. It could have been Aries. But it's like maybe they're secretly, the masculine looks like they might be secretly planning a move. Nope, that's not it. It looks like the, the feminine is secretly planning a move. And she doesn't want to tell people because it's going to hurt people. And I don't think she's planning a, a move with any masculine. I think she's doing it on her own and by herself. If you have the opportunity to, to move or take a new job or relocate, take it. It looks sensational. Don't worry about leaving no one behind. Because that could be your energy of why you're keeping it a secret. Because, you know, everybody else's opinion in, in certain situations. So it, it could be linked to your own energy and you're secretly moving forward. But to me, it definitely is linked to work. So it's, it's almost like someone comes in and offers some type of opportunity. But you do have a special connection here, too. But I don't think you guys are together. But that connection's not over. And if you're not relocating it, it still has to do with work and you're just not telling people. 
a new job, a new something, but you're definitely following your blueprint. Okay, so another zodiac had that, if you guys could remember. Want to let people know that would be great. I mean, it, it looks good. It looks like there's some type of offer. Someone's feeling something. They want to rekindle something. Keep an open mind when this conversation comes in. It, you know, it's like a new cycle is here, a new chance at love, that type of stuff. Looks like the king's going to take action. You go from the six to the ten, contentment. It's like you're following destiny over here. Somebody's watching you. It looks like the person that's watching you is really bent out of shape. But it looks good for my Libras. So this could be their missed opportunity. You know what I mean? It's the first time in this reading that it's, it's pulled like this. This could be somebody else's. Like they, they missed an opportunity. Now it's Libra energy that feels like they missed it. It's not though. What the frig? <clears throat> this is somebody's energy who's dealing with a Libra. All this will eventually come in. Tell me about failure because I don't see anything like that in my Libra's energy. You know, so it's like this energy might come back at you and, and put a blame on you or you feel stuck. You know, be careful there. Ten of Pence wanted to pop out for failure. So, let's see. Tell me about failure. <clears throat> Ten of Cups. Something happened in the past where you feel like you failed. It looks like the King of Wands energy. But they haven't let something go yet. So it's like King of Wands energy is still holding on to something that went down. So it's not your and it's not even your energy that feels like they failed. Well, they feel like they failed my Libras. But the thing is, this is supposed to be your lessons. So this is telling me that this energy is coming back in. I don't necessarily think it's a blame game, but... Don't put the blame on anyone else. I mean, this looks like it can turn into a damn blame game. Tell me about failure, please. What is this failure about? I know what I'm here to do. Looks like there's something here like that. It's like they knew they were supposed to pursue something that they didn't. And it looks like they might have to leave a family dynamic in order to pursue something. And they have grief. So it's like somebody needs to leave a family. Maybe to go to this energy. I'm not really sure how this all went down. That's what it looks like to me.
Looks like you could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius. I did say Virgo earlier. That's what the men, the men are coming in as. Aquarius energy here with the King of Swords, King of Wands, with Aries. So it's almost like It's their energy. Just don't understand why it's in your damn read. Yeah. It's like this is the Libra within their chart. But you wouldn't even know to cross watch that. You're probably just watching for Libra. But if you ask me, that you're dealing with somebody who's like an Aquarius sun, Aries sun, Virgo sun, Pisces sun. This is just a propensity within their chart. Because right here is like my Libra's energy right now, which is which is good. But you actually come in Earth in water. So you're either a water sun or an earth sun. Wow. Because this isn't, this is something that you would have to leave. And it's not wanting to leave the past. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Because that's not a positive Ten of Cups. They could have had it. If someone knew there was a purpose here, a spiritual calling. That's just it. Someone knew that there was an opportunity. There was most definitely something. Yeah. You were supposed to to walk away from a situation and have a new start. See, you were on the page, same page as somebody. You were. Because that's what was supposed to happen and it didn't happen. So this is energy of somebody missing uh, um, missing a, a situation ship, missing an opportunity. Now that they're, they're sitting with grief, guilt, regret. Because somebody knew there was something here. Regardless of that, this this grief falls under the category of it was too hard for them to walk away from a household. In others of you, this grief is, you know, now it's like shit. I made a mistake. And now I want to go after it. I don't see the communication coming in, but it is, it's, it's, there's something. So real, real, real quick. I just want to see where this communication is coming in. Tell me about the Princess of Cups. Two of Swords. It's like you already got to make a decision and then the Moon wants to pop out reverse. Okay, so something gets revealed. Something's coming in then. Tell me about the... Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands. It's real hard for somebody to come back. And the Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck reverse, which means someone wants to come back and, you know, speak the truth. Seven of Swords wanted to pop out again. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The Magician. Tell me about the Six of Pents. It's many six of pence. Ace of pence, six of wands. Princess of pence. Now it definitely looks like work. You're going to have some options. And look at there's that distance card again. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Two of wands. Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice. So something gets 
something will be revealed. Okay, it hasn't, I don't think it's, it doesn't look like it's happened yet. Something will be revealed and you're going to have to make a decision. Uh, as clear as day, you're going to have to pick a direction. This is not, this is so obvious, there's something coming at you. This is not stagnant energy. This is not, will this happen? It's either going to happen or it won't. It's not going to be postponed. If this is for you, it will go down. It looks like it's going to occur in the first half of March, or at least the third week. It, it, well, I don't think it would push out any further than that. Because this is first first out, so it could be right after the moon cycles. And I think the full moon is on March 9th. So, let's wait and see. I love you. Bye, guys.